Hello, everyone, and welcome to New Pantheon Academia, the anime-inspired over overarms show here on Saving Throw Show. I'm your host, uh, Epic High School level Dungeon Master Stephen Pope. Now let's go ahead and meet our table, starting with Epic High School le level Drama Queen Dahlia, aka. Wow, Arabica. we're sticking with this, huh? Where we're going different every week. I I'm throwing you guys for a loop. All right. I, I was prepared I this time. Hi, everyone. I'm R.I.P. Mika. I play the lovable Dahlia Wingrove. She is, uh, as Steven said, a theater kid. Uh, you will not get through an episode without me dropping some Hamilton rent uh, Les Mis reference. Just deal with it and love it because <laughs> it's going to happen. Uh, she also, her divinity is uh, Persephone, the goddess of... Uh, like fertility and vegetation, but also the underworld. Don't forget that part. No, Very important. I will not. Now she's a super high school level hypochondriac playing Iris Snow, Kelly. Okay, so I did appreciate that you did give those like superlatives because then I kind of knew I was next. I've been playing a lot of Danganronpa lately. <laughs> I just, think it, was hard. it was scary and I feel like you were really waving your power around in our faces. <laughs> I, I was. I was. I've gone mad with power. And eventually you're going to have to take me down. That's literally what this entire campaign is leading to. <laughs> intervention. We're all here because we love you. Um, I am Kelly Nugent. Uh, I am playing Iris Snow, um, whose uh, divinity is Kali, the goddess of death and life and everything and nothing and infinity uh so that's a great pair for sweet scared iris yeah, she, she's loving it she's doing great she's thriving funny enough she kind of is kinda next is. up next up playing the super high school school level type a personality lennox aka eric reichert Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Eric. I'm playing Lennox, uh, who is a good good boy. He's, he's on the football team, the little lacrosse team. Also, the uh, I think he's he's also the captain of the maybe the chess team, probably. I don't know. Uh, and he is uh, is is his divinity is Ninkasi, the Sumerian goddess of beer. And last but certainly not least, playing the super high school level space cadet, Manny Brown. AKA Aki. Oh, that's me. Aki, yeah. Hi. Girl, girl. Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. I play Manny Brown, uh, whose divinity is a Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. And uh, yeah, I, I'm just here to enable my friends' choices. And they're they're the things they love to do. Uh, you'll 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 definitely catch Manny encouraging Iris uh, to always be vigilant because there's a thing wrong with that and and supporting Dahlia in her musical theater dreams uh, and and making sure that Lennox always feels empowered by his choices as an RA because that's what they do. They are here to support their friends. And we love them for it. So real quick before we get into the nitty gritty of this week's episode and also a recap of last week's episode, we are going to go ahead and send a special thank you to our sponsor, Noble Knight Games. Uh, Noble Knight Games has everything, everything. It is a great store. You can get dice, you can get minis. They have an amazing selection of vintage, hard to find and out of print releases as well. And they ship globally. So for all, all our international audience, hit them up. Uh, and if you live within the United States, any order over $149 ships for free, and you will hit that number very quickly. Um, you can also trade in and trade up. Why mess with Craigslist and eBay? We can just get rid of the books you don't need anymore. You do not need that copy of the Witcher RPG. It's not very good. So let it out. Let it into the ether and bring in something good like Starfinder, perhaps, if you really like 3.5 in space. I don't know. That that seems like a very niche circle. I'm sure that Venn diagram doesn't have any overlap. Uh, go straight to Noble Knight Games when you want cash or store credit for new games. They'll even cover shipping when you send it in. 
And if you use command exclamation point NKG in chat uh, for a handy link and use saving 10 at checkout, you will get 10% off any order of $10 or more. That's saving 10 at checkout. Uh, so go complete your quest at Noble Knight Games today. They gave me like copy and stuff to read. I feel so cool right now. <laughs> But yes, thank you, Noble Knight Games, for sponsoring this episode. But we still need your help, my beautiful, beautiful audience. We are a smaller venture. We kind of have kobolds to feed. We have, we need to, honestly, we need to keep the lights on. We need to pay our talent because, you know, we love them. And we don't want to steal their time because that sucks. So, but we want to make sure. Have some amazing tier unlocks, and we're doing it a little differently this week. Uh, for every fifty dollars, I will be drawing from the deck of heroes. What does this mean? Well, whatever I draw, they'll have to deal with. Could be a friend, could be a foe, could be a crow, could be a random illness. Keep rhyming. Could be, oh, be yeah. Mo Sislak. <laughs> could be Mo. <laughs> And and we have some other amazing unlocks. We've already hit our first one. Thanks to Be Right UK for the generous tip of $25. You all will begin the game with five re-rolls for the table. This is the only way the players get re-rolls. I don't like having re-rolls because it makes me have to redo things and think, and I am not a bright man. But we have some other fun unlocks, including trouble with the club room. Iris's new shiny club room that she just confirmed is mold-free will be caught in a cold war between the baking club and the gluten-free society. And they're going to have to no. deal with that whole thing. Uh, at $125, we will do tarot assignments. Basically, I will be assigning tarot to each of the players. And if that card is drawn, I have to hand over the GM reins to them for a seat. They basically get to yes and, they get to change the scene however they like. Suddenly their fight turns around and suddenly everyone's wearing pink and owns a pet donkey. I don't know. I don't have their brains. You know, yeah. I I put together a show that doesn't require a GM specifically so I could avoid yeah. this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, at 175, we will have late for class where a random member of the school safety squad will have... Will Remember, oh God, I have a final today. And they're running late. So that's going to be fun. Doesn't matter if you're in the middle of the combat. You got to fight something now. And that thing is academia. And it's almost like we made this a subtitle for a reason. And uh, my personal favorite at 200, not only will we be drawing from the Adventurous Tarot deck, an NPC will confess their crush on one of the members. What? Yes. I know. Yeah. Talia cannot deal with having a crush right now. Well, oh, man. The auditions are coming up. This can't happen. I know. No show at dances for Dahlia. At 250, we'll draw another card, and at 300, we'll draw a card, and I will dress up as a fuddy duddy chaperone for the season finale next week. We're talking pants up to the armpits. We're talking a tweed jacket if I can find one. We're talking, like, I'm not, I'm not going to wear a hat. Okay. What? On camera. Wait. For the first time. I've been doing this for like six years. I've worn the hat. I've not worn a hat maybe twice. So I feel like you're the lady with the ribbon around her neck. Like if <laughs> I, I, it off, I take it off. Like, 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 my brain. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that scene and, from Hannibal. <laughs> just. Oh yeah. Oh my god. And finally, at five hundred, if we hit this you will unlock a very special episode where we will go from a shonen inspired anime series to a shoujo inspired game of Passion de las Passiones, the uh, telenovela RPG. But we'll be playing it as a shoujo anime. So lots of big eyes and small mouths and, oh, Inuyasha. I guess Inuyasha is a shonen, isn't it? But yes, we can only get these things with your help. If we make you laugh, we make you cry, please consider giving a tip. Uh, it really does keep the channel going and alive. It's how we can bring you such great content, like Aki's new show, which we will be talking about at the end. Don't you worry. Oh, 
I almost forgot to mention, if we hit 50 subscribers in the next two hours, we will do a Ghibli movie watch along. What? Yeah. Well, which which well, one? That's um to be determined. Maybe Spirited Away. It's one of my it's my favorite. It's I always one. cry. I always cry. Me too. Yes. Uh oh. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and recap what happened last week. So last week the four of you banded together and went to go talk to the dean. Dr. Uh Ash. I, I know their names. Dr. Oliver Ash, uh, the headmaster, uh, who is kind of best described as sort of a Dilfy version of Morgan Freeman. Mm. Yes. Uh, you found out that not only does he have a divinity, he is capable of giving divinities and taking them away. Uh, finding out that the four of you have been hunting the Phantom Queen, something he's been working on for a while now. He wanted to make sure you were capable after a really tragic incident that happened several years ago. You four had a knockout, drag out brawl with him where thanks to all of you, you managed to prove you're more than capable. And he empowered your divinity. It's been about five days since then. And our story, oh. and this week we begin inside the School Safety Society's club room. The simple room with uh, a small hole missing in the wallpaper for mold testing. It came back negative virus, it's all fine. With a table in the center, a whiteboard on the wall, and a beautiful view of not only the tree line, but the school's bike path. The four of you sit around the table as Orpheus, with a uh, dry erase marker, has drawn out every bit of information you've gathered since he's given you your divinity. About the Phantom Queen, the Doors of Oblivion, the... Uh, weird crow monsters that seem to be coming from it, the sheep men who are keeping people safe in their dreams, and the fact that you can apparently get to the door of oblivion through your dreams. And as he finishes drawing these uh, not-so-great doodles, he puts down his pen and goes, Okay, so now what do we do? Come on, you guys gotta have a plan, right? Like, you said last week, uh, <clears throat> um, let's see if I can do Lennox's voice. <clears throat> uh, we're going to uh, fight the Phantom Queen. Uh, but is that good? Did I do a good job? No. Yeah. You would not get a callback for that one. I'm very sorry. Um, oh. I thought that we had a plan last week. We like came up with this super quick in the office. We said we were going to get the Phantom Queen to the cemetery, have her see Kim. Kim would be like, hey, stop doing that. And then she would be like, you're right, I'm being bad. And then we would hold hands and uh, do like a little zip zap zoop game and then you mean sing goodbye. Sing, sing, sing kumbaya. Yeah. Kumbaya, yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and then, to get, oh, sorry, Lenny, you go. No, it's fine. And then Professor Ash was gonna like, you know, pat us on the, the head and say that he was proud of us. Oh, right, that, yes, that too. And in order to get the Phantom Queen to follow us, we were going to, oh, we were supposed to say a special code member from Kim that was like a secret. It was like- Oh, uh, how to get burned, yeah. How to get burned. Uh, and so that way she would know. Of Nicholas Cage, he's drawn. Right, 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 right. <gasps> right, but because of the Wicker Man. The Wicker Man, yes. Yeah. Yes, okay, yes. <sighs> Did you guys okay. watch the Wicker Man? In the last five days, Orpheus and I had a movie night. We watched both versions. Yes. I can safely say, I don't know if Nicolas Cage is a good actor. I don't, I don't like horror. I had it on in the gym, but I was also uh, blasting some other stuff in my headphones while it was playing. So it had subtitles. You're what the type of guy who goes to a movie and is on the phone the whole, whole time, aren't you? No, I just like, you know, if I'm in the gym, you know, that's my temple. It's like a routine, you know, headphones on. Music and a movie playing. Yeah. Okay. That seems like overwhelming. Yeah, that 
Also seems a little dangerous. What if, what what if you get distracted by one of those things? Um, I don't know. Have you seen Final Destination? No. Oh, all those too. Oh, I have a twelve. I I I have a I have a um a fifteen step plan in case you do get uh, caught in a treadmill. Um, I I, I it's it's in one of my folders somewhere, so I can <laughs> I can pass it over. Wouldn't it just be one step and it'd be to step away from the treadmill? Oh my gosh, no! Because okay, fi okay, uh, fourteen out of fifteen steps are mental. Um, and it is oh. the the final step is to step away, but you do have to. Um, think about yourself. Why did you get here? Why? What brought you here? What are you doing for yourself in this moment? This is why then, I don't do a lot of cardio. Oh. Well, anyways, I didn't watch Wicker Man because I got distracted trying to research how would one get into a situation that would become a Wicker Man situation? Oh. And how can we avoid uh, it? Well, first we need to become detectives and we need to search for the missing child. Well, that right I there. Don't like the You've been in a Wicker Man situation already. Oh, that's true. So does oh. that mean we're detectives? Oh, oh, I mean, my gosh. I certainly am. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of me and Maat's whole whole bag is uncovering secrets and discovering answers to the great mysteries of life. Sick. I don't really know what Persephone and me. Whole, I don't know what our whole bag is. But we have brand? Been, well, no, I've been uh, researching a lot of mind altering drug plants with her because I think huh, that nice. would be really cool to throw at someone. Like, here, take some peyote, and then they just completely lose their mind. Oh, that, man. That's an interesting approach. But I mean, she she is the goddess of all herbs, so I guess that works. As you are having this uh, conversation about herbs, Dahlia, your phone uh, receives a text message. It's about the fourth time in a row. It's from an unknown number calling themselves Hades. Um, what do the text messages say? Ooh. They, they're very generic, more just like, hey, in all lower caps. It's she, very you up. Gross. You up. <laughs> None of them have said you up yet. Uh, hi. I'm going to send a picture of me. Like always. Yeah. Uh, a few moments pass, and then finally you receive a photo in return. Uh, it is a, another student from North Point. He has. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say this. He's very handsome. Oh. Oh no. Black hair, square jaw, dark <laughs> eyes. Uh, you're welcome to give me an intelligence or charisma roll to see if you've met him before. Okay. I thought you were about to ask if I was attracted to him. No. Take, take a deep breath. I think that I think that goes without <laughs> saying for pretty I much everyone in this group. <laughs> you got a what? I got a two intelligence. Yeah, no, you don't know him, but he's definitely wearing the school uniform, so. I would like to call upon Persephone. Hey, uh, Pers this this kid is saying that his name is Hades. Uh, suddenly the club room smells of just fruits and flowers in bloom. It's terrible for your sinuses if you have allergies. And Persephone appears... <laughs> He most certainly is not my Hades. I want to FaceTime him. Just immediately call him on FaceTime. All right. You FaceTime him uh, from the club room, and uh, he answers, and it is the same man who sent you the photo. Uh, hello? Hi. Um, oh, for sure. What? No, wait. Yeah, yes, you are... You, you're Persephone, yes? I want to, like, motion to everyone, like, all my friends. Uh, I'm not Persephone, no. But I'm yes, friends. You are, you ha you are uh, in... What, what's the English word? Uh, in relationship with Persephone, no? 
Oh, well, I wouldn't say that. She's married, but sure. I mean, in oh, a sense. Is, yes, I, I know she's married. She's he's a uh, uh, he snaps, and behind him appears a. Uh, it looks like a flame made out of darkened earth. Huh? I want to show my screen to everyone else. Guys, another key. I think another key got used. It's Hades. Oh. Sit. Hi, Mr. Hades, sir. He is uh, not much. He's not much for words, but uh, he... you do see the figure you assume is Hades. To nod his head. Like Manny, is that is that anime moment when like somebody pokes their head up from behind, like <laughs> but everybody else is like really dumbed down drawing of them with like the eyes, just like <laughs> <laughs> that's <anime. laughs> um Iris is the where the hair is like slowly like <laughs> <laughs> what's Lennox like? Uh, <laughs> uh Lennox is, uh, he's in the back of the room, like, arms crossed, like, I don't care. <laughs> of course. Of course. Um, where are you located on campus? Because we are all part of the school safety squad. And I mean, we as in other gods and goddesses. Um, maybe we should meet up. We have some really cool stuff to talk about. <laughs> I'd also oh. really like to meet Hades. And maybe oh. <gasps> Reun reunite them. Oh my gosh, wait, yeah! Oh, that's so romantic. Is it? Yes, uh, I'm over in the light music room, uh, if you would like to come there. I could, or I can meet you where you are. Uh, yeah, um, share your location with me and we will come as a, as a squad. All right, thankfully you know where this uh, room is. It is uh, next to the drama room and the band room. Perfect. Guys, wait. How did they get my number? Wait, hold on. The big thing. Other keys are being used. How did they get the Hades key? Oh, I think... Did we forget to tell you that Loki has been helping us retrieve keys? He's throwing them through a hole. That's how... I put it on the board! That's how oh. Helen... That's how Helen got Ma'at's husband. In, in like, um... And like uh, Dahlia's defense, though, like your handwriting, Orpheus, is not like it's not stellar, you know. It's because he doesn't have a posable thumb, so he. Has I know. To I'm. Uh, I'm like. <laughs> it's, My lack of thumbs. This isn't an attack against you. I'm just saying, like in the future, if like things need to be put up on a board, like maybe somebody who. We're sorry um, that we didn't let you know properly, Dahlia. But yeah, Loki has been helping us ever since we found um, uh, Baron Samedi. Uh, when we went down, and 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 then and then with the wicker, the wicker man thing in the in the uh, theater, I might have maybe gotten through to him. I maybe maybe Loki likes us. I thought that he was throwing keys in a specific place that we would take them and keep them safe. I didn't know that he was throwing them and other kids are taking them. I don't think and that he might not have a choice about it. It's also Loki. It's very possible he's just doing this because he's bored. He is an agent of chaos. Drama. Also, I don't want to be um, negative, but I I do, I, I'm just nervous about meeting this Hades person. And so um, I just say that we should become emotionally and also physically prepared. That's not dumb. And that's certainly not being negative or over paranoid. That is perfectly reasonable train of thought for somebody who is head of the safety squad. Oh, okay. Then I'm just going to gather some supplies. What if like, uh, I just a had little. a thought. I'm going to open a supply closet. <laughs> it's going to be like, poof. <laughs> <laughs> right, Iris. What have you done to the supply closet in here? Um, there's like a lot of gauze in there, and um, also like mm, sharp scissors. That's not very. Uh, yes, as you open up your scissors and gauze closet, it comes flowing out like a river, and suddenly you now have a mummy bunny. A bunny mummy. Orpheus. 
Help! You were saying something, Lennox? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, what, what if this were a trap? That's I, my worry. I don't know. Because we like, because you... because they called us and then like we volunteered like like a a, a heck of a lot of information and whatever. Um, I well, it's Persephone's husband. Why would he trap us? But but is it? He nodded. She saw they they looked at each other on the FaceTime. Yeah, but we don't know that kid very well. And oh, was he kind of cute? He was yeah, I mean, he we, was very cute. Can I roll we to know this? Yeah, we child? all had the chance to actually get to see him. Oh yeah, kid. did we did we see him on the screen? Yeah, no, he was not hidden at all. Um you can all give a charisma roll or intelligence roll to see if you know him. I don't really want to like get too far ahead of myself, but imagine if after all this happens and then it's just me and Persephone and him and Hades and we get to go on double dates. Imagine how cool that would be. Gods of the underworld and students of the upper world. Wow. All right, Manny with a one. Uh, this guy is clearly an alien from the planet Mars you have never seen before in your life and you don't believe he's human. That's I mean, a, I'm that's fairly sure that he's human. It's just that I've never seen him at this school. So maybe, maybe he's some sort of implant, like a plant from another school. Maybe he's a spy. Maybe he's here to steal all of the pep squad secrets. Oh no. See, that's what I'm saying. He could be anybody. Did I recognize him? <laughs> uh, hold up. Uh, Lennox, you have seen him before. Uh, he tried out for the football team. He actually was pretty good, but then he decided uh, it wasn't for him. Yeah. I don't know. I don't trust this person, and not because I, not because of their attractiveness. It's definitely <laughs> something different. Yes. Iris, uh, with a six, you know him. You actually know him possibly not well because you're iris and you only you have these three in nanako you don't have that many you don't have a big social circle mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but you know him as spiro martin uh he is from france uh your families have actually done business together um he's in the popular music club he plays guitar uh fairly nice guy you've never talked to him He's kind of dangerous. He's dangerous? He's Wait, what? Wait, He's what? lighter. <gasps> okay. <gasps> okay, so from my observations, one second, I'd like to pull out my journal. <laughs> and then I want to flip to a day that I saw him. He was playing with a lighter, and he did that thing where the fire was out, and then he put his hand over it. Which uh, to me means that he could be he could be capable of something pretty sadistic. I, don't, I think I think you're he you said he said he had a lighter. Dahlia! I, I mean that he, just oh, what if I can convince him to try out for West Side musical West Side story next year? He just he seems like he might be a bad boy, you know, the kind of guy that like pushes you up against a wall and like holds you there, or what, you know, or just like other examples of bad things. Are you yeah, talking like, imagine, about right? Done? <gasps> he could be the Phantom and Phantom of the Opera, and I could be Christine. This is incredible. We have to meet him. I just feel like he is the type to get into kind of like a, like an argument right and then like he gets like really like he does that thing where he pushes his hands on either side like what if he fought with lenny right like and then got like right in his face and like like was he, lenny and, like, like, like imagine real how, close though like yeah real and, he, close and was like can feel his breath on your breath yeah like what if that right scary like, i don't and know and then I like like he's so close i could smell him and he like smells good for some reason like he smells like pine yeah Okay, so like that is all done. <laughs> yeah, that Manny has drawn a rather detailed, uh, complete with Yahweh hands, so the hands are way too big. Yeah, yeah. A uh, picture of Lennox being cabedoned by uh, Spiro, who uh, 
Now I have to ask Manny, who's shorter in the situation? That's very important for the oh, drawing. Oh, so Lennox is definitely taller and blushing like crazy. It's very, uh, it's very exactly. Crazy. Like, what um, if this happens? What if, what so, if this is an ambush? Hold on, I just need to get, I, I need to get a baseline here. So you think being pushed up against the wall by a really handsome kid um, is dangerous, but not creating black holes, Iris. Not creating black holes whenever you can with the snap of your hand, maybe? Hmm. <gasps> Dahlia, I did not know that our friendship would be put to the test <laughs> at my mere mention that he might be scary. I admit that, but it's all controlled because Kali is an ever knowing goddess of infinity. I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm like, how dangerous it would be. Imagine the back of his hand ghosting the outside of your arm. I mean, how scary. Yeah. Terrifying. What is life if not with a little bit of drama? Yes? It's at this point, the doors of the club room open. Uh, Nanako, wearing the school safety squad uh, armband that she's made, is carrying some flyers. Uh, most she wasn't able to hand out. And she comes in to find the uh, Manny holding up a picture of Lennox being Kabe donned, you two arguing over uh, the dangers of romance, and <laughs> trying to free himself. Also, a sea of bandages and scissors. Oh! Nanako, hi! hi. Um... Have you what ever happened been in, in here? Have you ever met a kid named Spiro? Settle this for us. Uh, Spiro, Spiro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, we had uh, chemistry together uh, last semester. Yeah, chemistry. Oh, the class. Um, okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, the class. Would you say he's dangerous? Um. No, I mean he Perfect. does wear so going. leather jackets a lot. And uh, uh, hi, hi, Lennox. Hi. Oh, hey, Nanka. Hi. These are for you. Why am I handing you these? Okay, here, here you go. Uh, uh, anyway, Iris, up uh, um, real quick, real quick. She reaches to her skirt and she pulls out a pink envelope, shoves it to you, Iris, and then goes, "I have to leave immediately. Bye." And you hear her running down the hallway. You don't want to stay. Ah. What did what did what did she hand Lennox? She handed you a pile of undistributed safety school squad flyers. Okay. Oh, I guess I'll hand these out. Uh, hold on one sec. And then uh, Lennox pulls out a, a, a piece of paper and starts writing on it, and then rips it off and hands it to to Iris. He's like, uh, "I would like to requisition requisition uh, one pair of scissors so I can free uh, Orpheus." <laughs> I see you'll notice that the the form is in is in complete order. Thank you so much. I'll put it with the others. I'm gonna all right, Orpheus. Pilot. Once once we process that, uh, we can get it on on scissors. <laughs> Who said that? Also, thank you for your patience while we discuss other things while leaving you immersed in in bandages. Oh, at least return to my tomb. <laughs> Where are the pyramids? Actually, um, it looks like where you are is pretty comfy, nice and dark, and 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 kind of you know, isolated and 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 comfy and cozy and very warm. It is kind of like being swaddled. I assume. Totally not related to that. Are we gonna go uh, see about that um, bad boy? Oh yeah, yeah, that very bad, bad, bad boy. We should go see. Yeah, I just like I'm worried he's like you know doing infractions or whatever. So I should probably do you know we should probably check that out. Yeah, I think like Dahlia and Lenny, like you guys should definitely um, just bust in there and 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 see if he's do if he's doing anything that like needs punishing. You know? Yeah. I or um. His name is. Hero. Yeah. You don't have to keep calling him a bad boy. Right? Um, right. Unless, unless he he wants that. I think 
we should go. Yeah. Manny, are you going to come with us? Yeah, I feel like I missed something. Yeah, I... I don't know what's going on either. stuff happening. Tones, I don't... I don't understand them right now. Anyways, I guess we should get going. <laughs> so tell oh, me a little bit more about these, like, psychotropic herbs that you and... and, and uh, oh, and... Uh, uh, and... Uh, Persephone have been talking about, and I think we just kind of walk and talk yeah. about. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> leaving uh, poor Orpheus in a in a uh, little bandage cocoon. I oh, like to we also never cut him out. <laughs> we never cross the page. As, as we're walking and talking, I'd like to like be getting Persephone to like um, put flowers in my hand so I can make a little flower crown from my head. Just to look cute. Oh yeah, she is definitely setting you up with that. I, I'm not gonna make you spend the AP for that. Okay. Well, you look so pretty, Dahlia. I mean, you always look very, very pretty, but the flowers are nice. Manny, thank you. Thank you for saying that. You're welcome. Wow. If you want one, I can make you one anytime. Okay. I think I'm good for now though. Okay. It doesn't take long for you to walk across campus to the performing arts pavilion, for lack of a better term, and you hear someone doing scales on a guitar before you see them. Oh, no. Oh, Why Lord. are you doing this oh, to us? Lord. Outside of Dahlia, you're, you're like hitting me. me <laughs> I know. This is, this is, this is an it's attack. Like from Stardew Valley. <laughs> Percy. Yes. As the four of you enter the light music room, you are greeted with a uh, pretty standard looking club room, except slightly larger than normal, with uh, electronic keyboards, some guitars, some basses, a drum set, and sitting in a chair doing it. Well, I say sitting. He's more doing that thing where you're leaning back yep. on two legs, uh, bouncing with one foot on a desk. Stop. <laughs> Is the man who uh, going you to I'm gonna you're gonna destroy this group? <laughs> We're all just gonna go. We're all gonna leave our bodies. <laughs> oh, just does he down. like also like blow a strand of bangs out of his face? <laughs> uh, his bangs are perfectly messy, so they're not in his face, but they oh bring my them gosh. Can we have fan art of this guy for like just reasons, y'all? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Yes. Manny and just kind I, of elbows Dalian going, I'm not saying it's just kind of like. <laughs> and then is also elbowing Lennox, like, <laughs> just elbowing everybody. As you elbow your friends, uh, you hear the dun 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 as a toast, it, well, no, as a school announcement is made over the intercom. <clears throat> yeah, no, no, Merv, no, Merv, I'm on it. Okay, Merv. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, all right. We have a uh, very special message from Be Right UK. Watch out for the kobolds around the school grounds. Staff may be hunting them in the break. Oh, God. Did we have a kobold investigation again? Okay. Merv, Merv, I told you we need to call the exterminate. And that's when the intercom goes out. Thank you, Be Right UK, for the toast. <laughs> Uh, Spiro looks up at the uh, intercom, shrugs, and then puts his guitar down. Ah, oh, hello. It's uh, good to see all four of you. And Lennox, he's a little bit taller than you. Oh, whoa. How tall is Lennox? <laughs> Manny starts, like, you know, re like adjusting their sketch. Lennox is 6'1". <laughs> Yeah, he's about 6'2", maybe 6'3". He's uh, just a little bit. Just enough. Wow. Okay. Interesting. It, it, it hurts on my insides here. Uh, he looks at the four of you and gives a bright smile, and his teeth are as white and as straight as a cemetery, as a uh, military cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> if you make us fight this man, I'm going to be so upset with you. <laughs> Uh, three members of the Light Music Club uh, walk in. 
Be Right UK, Mace 134, and Should Be Asleep. They grab their instruments and he gives them a wave as they exit. And oh my God, there's a cat. Sorry, everyone. I'm dropping everything. There's a cat. Hello, cat. I love you, cat. Kiki! <laughs> Kiki is Wheatley. He was sleeping in the box, but I think he decided he needed a little bit more attention. Ah, uh, of course. Can you say hi, Wheatley? Uh, say hi. Mace 134 and Dragon 55. Thank you both very much for the tip. Okay. Uh, Spiro puts his guitar down and walks over to both. Walks over to the four of you, uh, and he goes straight for you, Dahlia. He is a good head taller than you. Ah, oh, it's uh, lovely to meet you, uh, Windgrove, right? Ah, uh, yeah, but you can call me Dahlia. Ah, beautiful name. Thank you. Um, so how um how long have you had? How long have you? Uh, ooh. Had to rehearse this. How long have you been friends with Hades? <laughs> oh, um, I merely gained uh, my affiliation with Hades about two days ago. He's been uh, concerned for his wife's well-being, and uh, well, I couldn't help but notice you across this campus. You noticed me? Mm. Ac you said across yes. campus. Well, um, these are my friends, Iris, Manny, and Lennox. Uh, Manny, go ahead and give me a uh, dexterity roll to see how fast you can fix your drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a six on a d6. <gasps> yeah, no, you nailed it. You managed to, uh, the, you don't even see the pencil lines anymore. Lennox, you are, if it, you've been assigned the role of the uke on uh, this drawing. Um, um yeah, yeah, go ahead, I just I, Oh, I've... I I just want to be like uh <laughs> so Iris is trying is feeling very like protective of her friends cuz she feels like everyone is falling under his thrall. So she wants to try and see if or I she's going to like she has one of her pairs of scissors and she's going to be like cleaning her nails with one of the scissors and she's going to try and like play it cool and be like Oh, fan, uh, you're fancying here. <clears throat> As you attempt to be intimidating, uh, we have actually unlocked the first draw from the deck of heroes. So let's go Ooh. ahead and give this a quick shuffle again. And we drew, ah, the four of fiends in reverse. So, Iris, go ahead and roll me charisma to intimidate with a plus four. Oh, thank, 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 Satan. Thanks, Satan. Okay. Woo. Ooh, I rolled a four on a d4. And then you said plus four. Indeed. Eight. Um, perhaps it's the fact you're cleaning your nails with scissors. Perhaps it's the fact you have the swirling vortex of ultimate death behind you. But he's honestly a little intimidated by you. I'm going to tell you guys something. I am shocked that that worked. <laughs> go with it. It, it. Go with it. Yeah. I, I, we are very curious. Uh, in what form did you find Hades two days ago? Oh, I found him as a key of all things. He tells me that's uh, more normal than... I told you guys. I and, and where exactly was this that you found him? Oh, uh, in the boys' locker room. Okay. Um, interesting. Yes. And he was concerned about his wife. He, yeah, he was able to recognize who and where his wife was. Is that how you discovered that? That How did you figure it out? Oh, well, uh, he's been asking about his wife. And once I saw Dolly across the courtyard, I uh, simply asked around and I've had a friend of a friend give me her number. Oh. Um, but what? so... Hmm. I, I have one question, if I may. 
Uh, uh, yes. Uh, Lennox, correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I, um, I was wondering. Are you right? You say very says what? Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> yes, you seem awful sweaty. Are Are you okay? Uh, yeah. It's uh, it's two days this week, so you know. Uh, you yes, wouldn't yeah. know. You're not on. Like, I guess you're not into sports or whatever. I mean, that's fine. Well, I wanted to try American football, and it it, it has its uh, je ne sais quoi charm. I just uh, it, too violent. Did you just speak French? I mean, I am French. Oh, oh uh, speaking of Hades' wife, maybe I I, I, I took a semester of French in junior high school. Cool. Cool, Lenny. <laughs> maybe we should have a little meet cute. You show me yours and I'll show you mine. And then I'd like to do this little like half heart pose. And Persephone and I have, have uh, tried this before in my room where she uh, does the second heart of it. Uh, yes. In a flurry of flowers appears Persephone. Ah, uh, yes. And he's apparently also practiced a pose with Hades. <laughs> What is it? Um, it's a, It's not a heart. It has him holding up one finger and leaning over like this. Um, you are all welcome to give me an intelligence roll to see if you catch it. Okay, I would like to attempt. I got a two. My intelligence. Iris, uh, Dahlia, Iris, you both know this as the fusion dance. Oh, from Dragon Ball yeah. mm -hmm. Yep. And in front of you appears a flame of black earth. Uh, it's kind of intimidating and just kind of familiar. And Iris, it's uh, it's fine, I suppose. It's you know, yours is better. <laughs> huh. I've been, I've been working on a, a thing too. Uh, let's go Nankasi. And we summon Nankasi, who is a giant clay pot with reeds sticking out. Uh, mm -hmm. Lennox turns into liquid, uh, dives into the, the pot, and then comes out of the reeds and reforms. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's, I guess it's, you know, uh, yours is cool. Oh, that was. Cool. I didn't know we were supposed to be practicing poses with our divinities. Ma'at, you feel Ma'at pat you on the shoulder. We're not. Uh, <laughs> okay. But we should have one. We should we should still have one. Maybe. I would very much prefer we didn't. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ah, Maybe well, Texaquato will do one with me if I ever figure out what they how they work. Spiro uh, approaches you, Dahlia, and uh, Hades approaches as well, and you see Persephone and Hades. Um, Persephone, you've always described as more humanoid than the other divinities. Uh, she usually looks like a goddess, but a human goddess. She takes on these elements of earth and spring and birth and death and it's kind of beautiful and Spiro holds out his hand to you Dahlia and produces a uh, gemstone the size of your head I'd like to take just a second and then hold out my hand and produce like a little black rose oh Beautiful. Wow. How heavy is the gem when I try to pick it up? Um, it is a rock. It is a heavy rock. It's a pretty rock, but it is a heavy rock. I'd like to stuff it in my backpack and then heave my backpack on and pretend it's not as heavy as it is. Give me a strength roll. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, but my strength is my loss. Oh, 
I got a crit success on a D4. Oh, you got a four. Great. Okay. Uh, good. Because had you rolled a three or lower, you would have done that thing where you throw your backpack on and the momentum just. <laughs> you down. Um, I guess yeah. we should cut right to the chase. Um, you have a key and, and a divinity and so do we. Um, but we have been using them to fight evil upon campus. I'm not sure if you've noticed. Uh, I am embarrassed to say I have not. Oh. That's because we're probably, we're really good at like, you know, being subtle and stuff. Definitely. Definitely very good at being subtle. Um, well, that and you probably were just busy lo looking at yourself in the m mirror. Um. Are you okay, Miss Snow? I've never felt better in my life. <laughs> Iris, you look like you're about to cry. Are you? I'm... Your legs are look like they're about to buckle. <laughs> no, I feel really strong, and I have never felt more confident in my life. I have to. I'm just gonna walk outside for a little bit. Right, uh, Iris. You step outside to gather yourself, and you don't get that moment of respite. You find Xander running up, looking exhausted, <laughs> as he does not enjoy running. <gasps> Nanako sent me. Bites. Club room. Wait, what? Right. Wait, you're, you're saying there's a fight elsewhere? Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. I have. Uh, okay, God. put your head below your heart. He, uh, Xander does just that. He, uh, oh God, yep, yep. Okay, this was a mistake. Whew. Okay, maybe I should stop skipping Jim. Hi, hey, how you doing? Hey, uh, Nanako sent me. There's a fight brewing at the your club room, our club room. Do I still have to be a member? Yes, you're required. It's a life bond. Oh, damn it. Fine. Okay. Oh, shoot. I'm going to like look inside. And what do I. When you look inside the light music room, you see flowers swirling around Dahlia and Lennox. And Manny, Manny probably has that nice, you know, I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> There are so many things that go over my head. It's okay. Fine. Make good choices. I have to go. If any of you can wrench yourselves away from Mr. Perfect Handsome, can come with me. I'll go but with you. Thank you. Be strong. And I want to like point at Dahlia and Lennox. <laughs> Give me a courage This roll is definitely going to end well. I don't feel good about leaving them alone with him because something's... Oh, I crit one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, no. Lenny, Dahlia, like, I don't assume what you're interested in, but you do not care what Iris says right now because and there is Spiro in front of you. As as she yells, Lenny, like, like turns his head without, like, taking his eyes off him, and he goes, no, I already ate. <laughs> All right, Iris. Yeah, I'll see you later. Uh, and then I'm going to... The three of them are going to get along really, really well. I should add Dahlia to this drawing. <sighs> Too well, <laughs> Manny. The group dynamic is going to get all messed up. We got to go. Uh, Manny, Manny, give me a dexterity, draw, uh, dexterity roll real quick for your drawing. Walk and draw. Dexterity walk and draw. draws for fan art. Four. <laughs> Okay, so you've added Dahlia as the awkward third wheel in this yaoi drawing. <laughs> and her eyes are way too big. Uh, she's in the sailor out. She's in one of those sailor schoolgirl uniforms. You know, you guys don't wear those. Um, it's it's pretty fucking choice. It's good fan art. See, look, I'm cool. imagining uh, Spiro doing the wall thing to Lenny, but one of his hands is now holding. Uh, Dahlia's head, and she's just looking up at him. 
No, no, no. Okay, okay. So he's doing a two armed Kabe Don, Lenny, and then Iris. And Iris standing in front of Lenny. So it's like both of them at the same time. Oh, you mean Dahlia? Dahlia. 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 There is no way in hell that Iris is in this drawing. (laughs) Do you want to do Iris has a little bubble? Where she's like angry. She's that little like red thing on her. (laughs) Oh, the red thing? Yeah. Manny, I appreciate, you know what? We're walk. We're like power walking. Manny, I appreciate you offering. I absolutely want no part of being in that drawing, <laughs> but I will admit that you're quite talented. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's fun. I've drawn lots of fun, cool drawings of our group. You have? Huh? It, like, are there, are, I mean, I, I'd, I'd like to see him, I guess. Sure. I, I usually just keep them in my portfolio in my room. A lot of people don't actually know that I draw. Oh. Well, that's really, you know what? That's an admirable talent. And I think you've got legs, kid. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to be drawn for the rest of your life. I'm not good at pep talks. <laughs> you're getting better. You used to be really bad at them. Thanks. Okay. Hey, but that just means that it's a skill that you can improve. Pep talks are something that you have to learn how to do well. It's not something that you're good at right away. That's That's true. Our skills. That's true. Well. And every day your social skills get a little bit stronger. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you, Manny. And you also. Thanks. (laughs) It's at this time you guys turn the corner to the club building and enter, go upstairs to your club room, and there is flour all over the hallway. Ah! Flour and sugar and uh, gum paste and fondant. Why is there fondant? Ah! Um, Fondant is evil. Okay, everybody close your mouths. You see the beachy one president of the gluten-free society, and they are yelling at Technogur, uh, president of the school baking club, and they are going at it. And Nanako is in the middle, just like, please stop. Please stop immediately. Oh, please stop throwing flour. Oh, God. And she sees you, Iris, and she just bolts to you and hides behind you. Okay. Ah, okay. Um... Everybody stop with the flower thing because actually the thing that's dangerous about eating raw cookie dough isn't the eggs. It's the raw flour. Don't let it in your mouths. Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. (laughs) This isn't even flour, someone yells. It's gluten-free rice flour. It's basically crappy mochi. Um... I believe there has been a significant mess made here for what appears to be a turf war over something that honestly has nothing to do with which product is better. We have to remember, not everybody can consume every type of food. That doesn't make regular cookies with regular flours better than gluten-free cookies with gluten-free flour. It depends on your taste and your body's ability to digest any of the elements that are in your cookie. So maybe you guys should all calm the fuck down. <gasps> F oh. again, Manny. Nanako just gotta go. Oh, I didn't know you cussed. I usually don't. That's that was that was a slip. It's impressive. It has power when you do it. Oh, thanks. But really, you guys have made a mess of my friend's club room, and that is not very nice of you. This is not your space. Um. A large student, possibly a senior, approaches uh, Chef's Hat, the whole nine yards. You know, it's an anime. We just got to deliver it as fast as we can. These gluten-free monsters have been hogging the ovens, taking twice as long to bake anything. And on top of that, your club room, the old club room for the Postmodern Literature Society, Nanako just kind of, yeah, that, that's what it was. That is where we were planning our attack. And somehow someone threw out our, all of our work, all of our plans. And Iris, you feel 
Nanako just kind of slumped a little further behind you, as if maybe if she gets low enough, she'll just stop existing, and this could be over, and she doesn't have to do this anymore. <laughs> Nanako! Uh, stand up tall! Stand up tall! Please don't make me. What? Please don't make me. We have to face, we have to face this together. Because you are brave and smart and beautiful and, and, and clever and intelligent, all of those things. Well, okay. Also, you wouldn't happen to know anything about what happened to the baking club's cookies and and work and stuff would you I, I didn't throw out any cookies i threw out uh, when we got when we got the approval for the club room it was kind of messy so i cleaned it up well that shouldn't have had one thing anything to do with anything <clears throat> excuse me well, Aunt, you couldn't shed some light on any of this now could you uh go ahead and roll me intelligence and power cool and, you and spend your people. yeah mm-hmm Okie dokie. Let's spend some AP. Woo! AP spend, AP spend. Intelligence plus power. Ooh, yeah. I'm really excited because I recently got a bunch of new dice from the Wormwood Kickstarter. And Ooh. one of the dice I got was like one of the Take This B6 dice. And so now I have a, a die that has like a giant sword on it. So this is like, <laughs> this is, that's cute. I love yeah, that. It, it, it suits. It suits. It goes uh, a lot. Yeah, really, really well. Oh. So I'm kind of excited about it. And I rolled a six on that die and a four on my other die, so it's a nine. Nice. Okay. Um, your eyes glow yellow as you see what happened. The baking club had been using this club room to plan. They were not supposed to be using this club room at all, but they were definitely using it. They had more or less. Uh, made one of those crazy person red string walls in there about their plan. And you see Nanako uh, coming in, her he hair is in a head headband, and she cleans up the whole place. Because it's there, it, because it's her club, well, it's Iris's club room, but she got that club room for you guys. I think I understand what has happened here. Am I in trouble? Nanako asks. No. You are not in trouble. I believe that the baking club has been found with their hand caught in the cookie jar and they are the ones at fault. Why are you antagonizing them? Even if it takes them twice as long to create their creations as it does you, it is still a space that you have to share and you need to learn how to work together because if you don't, it's just going to make both of your clubs go away because I don't think that the Dean is going to be very happy about you two fighting and making a mess like this. Secondly, Dean? Now I just have a feeling he wouldn't appreciate it. Oh, okay, sorry. But also, this is our club room and you did not have permission to use it. Nanako was exercising her right as the co-founder of the safety squad to clean out this space. If you're upset with her about doing something that she was supposed to do, like I said, you are more than welcome to take it up with the Dean. But this is not your space. And if you have a problem with the gluten-free baking club, then you should take it up with the Dean and not with each other. I'm finished. Anything else to say, Iris? I just, um, <laughs> there's something that's just not working in my head here. Um, <laughs> it just seems like someone you maybe used this room without filling out the correct form. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I want you guys to both give me charisma rolls. So I want you to combine the uh, both, both roll, combine the numbers because this is a dual action. Four on a d4. Nice. Eight on a d10. Oh man, so twelve. Uh, it's me, Bondo. Thank you for the tip. It's uh, me. So Manny, you get to give your speech, and it is dynamic. We spent some of the budget on this. There's camera changes. The lighting is from <laughs> music works. Oh, captain, my captain. Oh, captain, yeah. my captain. 
Indeed. And then Iris, uh, if you wore glasses, this would be the part where you remove them and then fire. But no, mm -hmm. this is the part where the background goes black yep. and you grow in size. And it is enough to make a grown man cry. And he almost does. <laughs> the president of the baking club just, <clears throat> fine, fine, we'll clean it up. And we'll throw it. Uh, and as we get to clean, you hear applause behind both of you. Oh, is that Orpheus? Uh, no, it's Ben. Oh, hi, Ben. <laughs> Who's Orpheus? Our mascot. We have a mascot? Yes, we do. Oh, uh, oh, Iris, your club is like a real club now, yeah? Your club is like a real club now. It was always a real club. I'm sorry. I'm still riled up. Take a few deep breaths, Iris, and drink some water. You're, you're always a little bit touchy when you're dehydrated. Do you need a Snickers? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here you go. There's nobody in this room that's allergic to nuts, right? If we open this up, nobody's gonna, like, explode. Uh, you hear a bunch of grunts and rah, 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 but no one confirming they're allergic to peanuts. Great. I figured if if somebody in the school was allergic to uh, peanuts, we would be a nut free zone. So here you go. Yeah. Okay. She's just gonna chomp it. Um. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, there was my product placement for stickers. <laughs> <laughs> Use promo code. <laughs> stickers and Diet Coke to sponsor the show more than anything on the planet. <laughs> um. Ben just kind of clears his throat. Uh, Notices he has some flour on his sneakers, tries to kick him off. Listen, uh, I gotta I gotta run. I have I don't know what club meeting I have to get to. But uh hey, Manny, so kind of big news. Thought I'd deliver it to you since uh, the president's a little busy right now. So Jeff M uh 0307, you know that guy? Uh in the Pep Pep Squad. Sure. I know everyone yeah. in the Pep Squad. Yeah. Uh he he was trying to do a skateboard trick, and it didn't go so well. So that, uh, well, now his ankle is kind of like. <sniffs> anyway, he was supposed to be the MC for uh, the homecoming uh, auction we were doing next week, and uh, guess who was uh, next on the list to do it? Uh, Dahlia. You. <laughs> Listen, Manny, I'm sorry. I, You were just literally the next name on the list. I off, offered to do it, but I'm already ru running, you know, like the ticket booth. So You want me to MC for homecoming? Yeah, yeah, at least the auction part. You know, we'll have a DJ and everything. But I uh, want you to hear the good news. It is good I'm, news, right? I'm, I'm going to MC for a homecoming? My parents will be so proud. Cool, cool. Um, Iris, you enjoy your Snickers. Uh, girl, I don't know, cowering behind Iris. Uh, how you doing? Her name is Nanako. Nanako, oh. stand up straight. Nanako does so a little too enthusiastically. Uh, hi, hello, hi. Uh, so uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, I got to run. I'll call you about the thing. And also, way to fucking ditch me. He reaches into his backpack and he puts a DVD box in your chest. My chest? Yes, he just kind of shoves it at you. Well, I didn't mean to, to ditch you. I, I've been a little bit busier than lately. I, I will not miss the next practice, I promise, sir. Eh, don't worry about it. I, don't worry about it. Uh, I got to run. But enjoy the DVDs, okay? Catch you later. And he is running. That guy does not seem to have an off switch. I'm going to be an MC for homecoming. Did you hear that? That's correct. I have nothing but uh, but but high hopes. And and you're gonna uh, you're gonna do so much. I should ask Dahlia for some advice. Oh, she'd probably be really good at that. Yeah. Um, Oh, oh, Manny, Manny. Uh, and Nanako hands you a pink envelope, uh, similar to the one she gave Iris earlier. 
Oh, I forgot to look at this. Let's open up at the same time. Okay. Uh, they're handmade invitations to uh, Nanako's birthday. Oh, thanks, Nanako. I'd it, love to go. It's the day before homecoming. I know that's kind of uh, not a great day, but, uh, you know. And Don't kinda... backdoor your own birthday. Sorry. I I'll be there. To go. As long, I'm probably going to have to make sure it's okay with Ben. And I'm probably going to have to go to a practice or a rehearsal or something. But as soon as I'm done, I will definitely be there. Oh, it's, we're just, I'm just going to order a, uh, I'm just going to order dinner and. Uh, I will definitely yeah. be there. Um, Iris, if that's going to be too much, you don't have to. She will definitely be there. I I'll be there. There's only going to be three of us, right? Uh, well, no I more was than that? Just three people? I was going to invite Dahlia and. Uh, okay. Not Lennox. Okay. Not Lennox. Oh God. Wait, who? Oh, you can't just invite Lennox. You can't just invite us and not invite Lennox. He, he that would hurt his feelings. Um. Okay. I'll invite him. That sounds He'll fun. Definitely come. All right. I need to. I need to do a check. Don't <laughs> say that. I, I need. To Iris, to don't say that. <laughs> I need to do a check. I'm going to do a check. I'm just gonna roll some some int here. Roll intelligence. All right, crit failed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't know why she has this thing against Lenny. Like he's a nice guy. He's really nice. I know that. Oh God, I know that. I know that so well. He's really nice, and he's gonna really love to just go to a party where he can just kind of sit down and eat because he's been doing all these doubles and like really working out a lot and like sweating a lot lately. You know? She gives you that look, and it's the look you can only give a friend when they're giving you shit. <laughs> You're the worst. I was trying humor. It worked. You're Am terrible. I missing something? I feel like a lot of things are going over my head today. I have a crush on Lenny. <gasps> you said it! Oh! <laughs> wow, Nanako, that was next level brave. Next time you're scared to stand up to some baking person, you can think about how you just admitted your crush. Cool. I think I want to lie down now. You have very good taste. Lenny's cool. <sighs> yeah. He is. From there, we cut back to the light music room. Lenny, how are you handling this? Uh, well, what's the current situation? The current oh. situation is uh, Spiro has uh, been playing some music he wrote. Dolly is singing. <laughs> yeah, he got a 14, so uh, on 2D12. Yeah, no, it's it's good. It's good music. I, I, you know, I'm, I, I am also musically inclined. Uh, I'm gonna borrow this harmonica. I can. I mean, I can do a, a little bit. You know, it's like I guess so. It's it's like not a, not impressive that you do it. I guess I don't know. Where did that harmonica come from? I don't. Uh, I don't know. He pulls a lot of stuff out of nowhere. Sometimes I don't know where he keeps it either. Ah, well, uh, you are very talented at the harmonica, Lennox. Perhaps we could uh, jam together? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever. if I have time, I'm like, I'm always so busy because like, I'm like, you know, I'm basically the entire sports team of this campus or whatever. Uh, well, if you, if, if Lenny oh, you. isn't available, maybe you could try out for the school play. I hear we're doing both... West Side Story and Moulin Rouge next year. <laughs> oh, well, I do love uh, Moulin Rouge. It's a very tragic, beautiful story. Suddenly the world seems such a perfect place, right? Yeah? Uh, 
he sings along with you, and oh god, he has one of those voices. It's like three octaves deeper when he sings, and it's really melty and good. Wow, this is literally a scene out of Fruits Basket. It's just <laughs> amazing. She's just gonna keep going. Yeah. Um, Lenny, you see someone at the door. Tall, blonde, tan, and pissed off looking. Uh, it's Brendan. Oh, Brendan. What's up, dude? The guitar playing stops immediately. Spiro looks up. Oh, uh, this is another one of your friends. Uh, you, are you with the... Uh, what is the name of your club, Dahlia? What? You said I have other friends? No. <laughs> it's all... I don't have anything else to do today. That, that That's not what I asked. Oh, what'd you ask? Uh, <laughs> Brendan approaches you, Lenny, and he grabs you by the collar. Uh, hey. Where the hell have you been? Uh, I, I'm just st straight chilling, you know? What's, what's up? Our first game of the season is next week. Where have you been? Uh, you know, it's like responsibilities have been like, but I'm still like, I'm doing two a days. So you know, like I'm keeping up. We're not just doing two a days, dude. We're still running practices. Hell, yep. the captain's been riding my ass because our quarterback is MIA. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. I hear you. Uh, and I understand. Do you? Because yeah. you're hanging out with the French kid now. I mean, I, I wouldn't say we're hanging out. I mean, I'm here and he's here. And like, you know, I'm hanging out with Dahlia and like, you know. Yeah, and we have really important stuff to do. It's not all about practice. Yeah. And like, uh, I guess... Yeah. We're actually on the Dean's special list. Yeah, we're so doing if you have a problem with Lenny, take it up with Dean Ash. Yeah. Okay. Also, what's the thing you say, Lenny? He his dad bought a wing of the school. So you better watch your tone. I, I don't like to like assert it yeah, in, in an aggressive in an aggressive manner. I like yeah, to just wing of the school and that's why he's quarterback. Oh. I mean that's no. not have you seen Lenny's muscles? You don't have to look too long, though. Spiro. <laughs> uh, I have appreciated his body. He is uh, quite athletic looking. Thanks. I mean, whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, I should probably go. I got practice. Um, I no, you know what? Fuck it. Okay? Screw it. You have fun running around, hanging out with, like... You you go from not talking to Manny to being with them like 24 seven. You go from Iris is the crazy girl on my floor that I have to take care of all the time to best friends. And now I'm basically left holding the fucking paddle while you're running around doing whatever. Okay. Brennan, like I'm okay. I'd like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, Figuring some stuff out about myself, okay? Is that it's like okay? Am I am I you know? All right, is is it okay? Like if I have if I have friends, you know, if I like hang out with people, if I try things, you know, it's not like crazy. Yeah, we used, to, used to hang out with me. Uh, uh, we st we still hang out real fast. Uh, which one? Strength. Strength. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh no, what's gonna happen? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, 11. Okay. He tries to shove you, but you are more of a solid brick of a man than Brendan. And it's more just kind of like he messes up your collar a little bit. And he's out. And Spiro looks up and goes, So I take it this uh, dual life thing is a little more complicated. Yes. Yeah, you could say that. I don't... 
and then he Lenny gets to Dolly. He's like, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm, I'm, where, what I'm supposed to do right now. Could I, I don't know where, what, about, what should I do? About what? About like, Brandon? Should, should I, should I follow him? Am I supposed to follow him, or like, do I stay here? Lenny, look at me. Do you want to follow him? I, he's being kind of a dick. Then I don't think you have to go. You need to do what's good for you in this moment. But I'm like, I'm like supposed to like. Do you want to go to practice? I don't. Would you rather go to football right now? Or do you want to hang out here and jam with Spiro and then wait for Iris and Manny to come back? And then we're going to kick some butt. Do you want to do that? Or do you want to go do football? Because if, if I have to, if I'm going to be honest with you, Lenny, it seems like everything else has taken more importance over football to you. And that's okay. Sometimes you got to let those things go. I was in choir for a really long time, but it was not my jam. Yeah, but. Like Lee lied to you. My, my, my dad bought a wing. I'm like supposed to do these things. No, you're not. Just because your dad does things doesn't mean that you have to do something in response to them. You guys are separate people. I mean, really separate. Like, I have never seen him anywhere close to you, Lenny. <laughs> yeah. I have never heard him talk to you. Uh -huh. Like, you don't have to do these things just because your dad bought a wing. Just because your dad bought a wing and is like, I want my son to be on football team. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Like, imagine when you graduate. Are you still going to keep doing what your dad wants for your whole life? Or are you going to try to make your life yours? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what I want. We can figure that out. Me, you, Mandy, and Iris. We can help. Okay. That is the beautiful part of adolescence. We do not know what we are doing, but we know we're going to enjoy it. Look, I... I don't want to say something mean, but I'm just going to be honest. It seems like your dad had a son so that he could have more years to have another life for himself. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like he's trying to accomplish more for himself by having you. And that's not cool. You need to accomplish your own things. Let him have his life and take back your own, you know? Yeah, I guess. If you want to try out for the school play, I can help you. But if you don't, that's totally cool too. If you want to go to football practice right now, I'll cover for you when Manny and I just come back. But if you don't, I'm right here to hang out. Sander leans his head in. Lenny, your dad's a dick. Please don't do the please don't do the play though. That's kind of like our thing. All right, bye. Yeah. I, I've been outside trying not to throw up. Sorry, I heard all of it. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know if I'm like, like, like I'm looking for play stuff, but yeah. Um, I think, I think, but like, we do have like a game coming up and I made commitments that I have to stick to. Uh, but thank you for, for being honest with me. But I think I, I, I think I do actually have to go to practice. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to support whatever you decide. Cause we're friends, Lenny. Thank you. You're, you're a really good friend. Oh, well, hold on. I'm going to pull out my phone. Can you say that one more time? I've never had anyone say that to me. But I've also never had friends close enough that they would say that. Yeah. Like you, like now? Yeah. Is it, you can count, oh, you, you're like a really good friend. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. I'm going to listen to this. Put myself in a... Yes, thank you. Wow. I wonder what Manny and Iris are doing. Do you think? Wait, what did they? Wait, what did they come? What did they leave for, Lenny? I think Iris was saying something about lunch. I thought she said she was gonna go take a nap. I don't. I don't remember. I don't either. <laughs> the. Iris and Manny, uh, accompanied by Nanako, three of you are, well, what are you doing right now? Because Nanako has finished cleaning up, well, 
The Baking Club and the Gluten-Free Society and Nanako have finished cleaning up the club room. And they demummified Orpheus. Oh, well, I, I think we should probably go back to to Dahlia and to Lennox. And, and if you want us to, we can take your, your birthday invitations to them. Unless you want to do that in person, which is totally cool. You can do that. Um, but, uh, I will do it myself. <gasps> yeah, I'm going, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do it in person. I will come with you and give the invitations to Dahlia and I guess Lennox because I have to do that now, don't I? I mean, seriously, if you don't want him there, you don't have to let me pressure you into inviting him. That is completely up to you. But if you like him and you want to get to know him better, it helps if you actually spend time with him. And this is the opportunity to do that in a group setting where you'll feel safe and comfortable. Okay, but what if I just watch him from afar and pine for him, and then eventually I'll swallow all of it, and then I'll graduate and one day die? Or not, because that, that doesn't sound very healthy or fun. Oh, and listen, here's the thing. I don't know from personal experience, because I've never really liked anyone before, mostly just because it seems like a pain in the butt. But It is. Um, don't do it. But the way I see it, as if you do tell him you like him and he doesn't return your feelings, it will hurt a lot. It will suck a lot. But right. it will also be over and you won't have to pine and you won't be in pain. It'll hurt for a little while and it will suck for a little while. But pining for him and never telling him how you feel will hurt and suck all the time forever. You're really smart, Manny. Am I? Cool. If you want, I can try and prime him up for an invite. No, no, I'm going I'm going to do this. I'm going to be an adult and I'm going to do this and I am not going to stare at his butt. I did not say that out loud. I am leaving. I am it's okay. going. It's a nice butt. No more butts. He runs up and down those bleachers a lot. You can notice his butt. You're terrible. You're a monster. Wait till you see the guy we just left him with. Woo! Oh boy. I mean, I was pretending to play it cool, but things were getting kind of dicey over there, which is why we should probably head back because yeah. I've never met somebody with such a pull of intense sexual charisma. Iris. I don't, I. I'm going there right now. <laughs> I'm just breaking it down for you right now. Don't share that I said that. Yes. Um, as you, the three of you make it to the light music room, Nanako takes a deep breath, throws open the door and holds out an envelope and goes, hey, Lennox, I got this for you. It's for, it's an invitation to my birthday party. You should come. He's not here. Okay. That was, uh, that was a lot of buildup in my brain for nothing. Where are they? Uh, Spiro looks up from his guitar and uh, Dahlia. Oh, Iris, Manny, uh, you you bring a friend. Hello. Does she also have a, she is a member of the school safety quad. Does she also have the. Uh... No, 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 she doesn't know. No. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You sound crazy. That's Sorry. Little, that's going a little, a little over. I think I went into gaslighting. Over the top there. <laughs> no, Sorry. she. She doesn't have a badge. We didn't make one for her yet. Nanako looks kind of hurt. Like, because we need to get it perfect. Yeah, we don't have ours yet either. We've been making sure that they look the best they possibly can. Yes. All right. Uh, roll me charisma. The gaslight. Oh. Okay. You horrible liars. Wait, is this, all of us have to do this? You're all lying to her. Oh man, I'm bad. Okay. I got a four. I got a five. I know that Ma'at is deeply disappointed with me right now. Yes. But I will yeah. make it up to Ma'at by actually designing badges for the safety squad. Uh, with a three, with an average score of three, uh, she, th um, okay, I guess. Wait, we, we, badges? I made armbands. We don't, uh, fine, whatever. Uh, Spiro um. gets up, uh, 
comes over to Nanako, extends a hand, and Dahlia, you're not making these flowers, but somehow a bunch of roses appear behind her and everything glows a little pink. Persephone, cut it out. I'm not doing that. Wait, is he doing that? No, I think she's doing that. Nanako? Yes, Nanako has giant doki doki eyes and the world has gone to slow-mo. Oh, Dahlia, you have competition. No, I can't. I can't be runner up again. I have to get a call back for this role. I have to. We cut over to the boys' locker room as dun 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 dun. The school intercom system begins to uh, activate. Okay, Murray. All right, all right. I got it. I got it. Okay. <clears throat> This is a reminder to all students to please stop using your powers in the bathroom. Our custodian is not impressed. Okay, Murray. What do you mean they the custodian? Listen, you are the custodian. Listen, I just want to call you the janitor. And it cuts out. Honey, uh, you are getting dressed for the field. You know, you're the only one in here. And you hear clacking. Skittering almost from overhead. Huh. Hello? Above you is a scorpion creature. Far too many legs and jet black. And you recognize it as a crow. Oh. And you know you roll initiative. Okay. What was initiative again? <laughs> Speed and dexterity? Yes. Do not ah. spend an though. Let's see. Also, thanks to the chat for unlocking trouble with the club room. That let us get to uh, Nanako and uh, Ben a little fun way. So thank you for that. I rolled an eight. Eight for Lenny. All right. Everyone else, what'd you get? Oh, we're rolling as well. I thought it was just yeah. Lenny. Oh, I, I thought it was just Lenny. Room. Sorry. No. You so, are going uh, to be missing the first round of combat as uh, Lenny, as you are not there, but I, I will do you in combat. <laughs> I, I rolled two ones on both my die. Oh my god. Manny, Manny why? I, I don't Manny, why? I, I don't Please. know. I, I roll I have re-rolls, so I'm gonna use a re does <laughs> does it re -roll. As well, like critical failures. Can you critical fail on an initiative? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a GM call. And I'm going to say no. Okay, because, so I just like, have a very I fail low initiative. initiative. Yeah, I just have a very low initiative, but I don't yeah. fail. Um, I just have right. Is it dex and speed? Yes. Okay, sorry. My initiative is a two. You got a two again? No, that that no, I didn't re-roll. Because okay. if, if I can't fail initiative, then there's no... I just go at the end. Uh, Dahlia, you got a 12? I sure and did. What'd you get, Iris? Six. Seven? Six. All right. Not great for all of you. No. <laughs> okay. So, Dahlia, uh, your bag begins to rustle and Orpheus comes rolling out. Uh, hey! I mean, chitter, chitter, chitter. 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 It's okay. No, no, it's okay. Nanako doesn't know. Oh. Uh, one second. I forgot to I forgot to put a, a a diaper on my pet bunny. I gotta go take it to the bathroom. I'm gonna put him back in the bag and like go over to one of the side rooms. A diaper? I I was I was pressured. I had a to go with her. Yeah. You're not. I can't. My, my dignity. Uh, okay. Otherwise, Listen, Spiro um, would think that you were pooping in my bag. And I can't have that. I don't. Uh, I don't like that guy. Anyway, um, listen, my 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 hackles are up and my, my leg will stop twitching. And uh, where's Lenny? Lenny went to practice. Lenny's alone. 
he, uh, I, I assume so. He, yeah, he was late. So I'm sure he's, unless they all have to be there when you change. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. We, we, where, 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 where would that be? Where would that be? Where would that be? He kind of squeezes uh, your cheeks together and like in a panic. Uh, that would be the boys locker room for the, for the football field. Okay. We gotta go. We gotta go there right now. But what about everyone else? Bring them should along. I bring, should I bring Spiro? <laughs> will you be able to do stuff besides drool? No, you're right. And don't bring okay. Spiro. All right, cool. Uh, and as we run out, I'm going to give like a, a hurried little Bye, I'll text you later. I'll call you. I'll FaceTime you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. And then as I'm running towards the football field, I'll text Manny and Iris or probably FaceTime them. Hey, you were all in the same. You were all in the club room, so. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, as you make a run for it, Lenny, uh, you are in a the locker room with a three, four foot three foot tall, four foot wide, uh, obsidian black scorpion thing. Um, listen, I'm having kind of a weird day. Um, and can we do this another day? Uh, as it is attempting to stab you with its tail, you assume no. Yeah, and like it does that. He's like, "Can we do this another day?" And then like it like stabs at him, and he turns his head just in time to like not get hit. I was like, "All right, I guess this is how we're doing it." <laughs> All right, what are you going to do? Okay, uh, Lenny is going to um, he's going to turn into a puddle of liquid and then quickly like reemerge and like uppercut this thing. <laughs> All right, uh, roll. Roll me uh, power and strength. Okay. Let's see. Da, da, da. That's this one. And that's this one. Ooh. I... What? These are some of the biggest dice you can have. A D12 and a D10. And what do you roll? A three. Minus two. Three roll. Minus two is one. Would you like to use the reroll? <laughs> yes, I would. Okay, use the reroll. You need a seven to hit this thing. Okay, so 13 minus two is 11. <laughs> That's going to be a hit. Now roll damage. And DJ Regular, thank you for the tip. All right. Let's see about that damage. Um, that would be 17. Oh my goodness. All right. It's going to roll a defense. Oh man, it did not. So you go under this thing and you come up and you wreck it. It goes slamming into uh, one of the lights above you and it starts swinging back and forth. The, light, the atmosphere is gross and thick and it's a locker room. So it's definitely gross. I see. Um, he lands and he goes, oh, dang it. I'm not supposed to use my powers in here. Uh, with that, uh, it is still up, but it looks pissed. It's going to strike out at you, Manny. Not Manny. You're not there. Lenny. You guys have two similar names. This is why I, start, this is why I was calling you Lennox for so long. Okay. It got an eight to hit. That does hit. What is your defense, Lennox? My defense is a D6. All right, roll that beautiful bean footage. Five. It so you only take two as it stabs you in the leg. How? All right, Iris. Uh, you were told by Dahlia what was going on, so you're on your way there. Uh, same with Manny. The three of you are going to be there, and we get to the top of the order with Dahlia. You're the first to arrive. And by the way, we are only $15 away from our next unlock, which uh, lets me draw from the deck, which could be very useful right now or make it much worse. Who knows? Uh, yeah. Lenny is also, he was in, he was mid change. So he's wearing, he's got his football like padded pants on and, 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 and uh, nothing else. So he's like completely topless. Why RIP Miko, where on earth did that come from? Wow. <laughs> huh? Crazy. Wow, did we hit our goal? That's incredible. Our our uh, next tier? Wow, crazy. Well, I, uh, I believe we did. 
I think that but means you get a tarot card and the hundred dollar goal unlock, right? Uh, that's our hundred dollar goal. So yeah, uh, thank. Sadly, for hundred dollars, it's just drawing from the deck. Yeah. I'm just glad I don't have to not wear the hat next week. You don't want to see it. It, it, <laughs> it. Spose brain people. It's not nice. Um. So what do, what do I see when I walk in? It's Lenny fighting this crow that looks like a scorpion? Yes, you find Lenny uh, half naked in the middle of combat with a crow. This one looking like a large scorpion creature. Uh, it's already done some damage to some lockers and the uh, fluorescent lights overhead. Also, it's like the first time you've been in the boys' locker room and it's so gross. Like, ew. Ew, it smells like axe in here. I hate the smell of axe. It smells like everyone hates the smell of axe. <clears throat> um, girls, I'm going to immediately throw. Um, it, it's going to look like a bundle of just vines and weeds, and I want to get it to attach to the little stinger of the scorpion crow, so that mm -hmm. it is not able to puncture anything or get in. Like it would basically just become this a bat instead of a stinger. All right. Uh, go ahead and make the roll. We'll go ahead and say that is range and uh, strength. Range and strength. Also, we have drawn the card, and it is the Four of Celestials. Ooh. So, what did you get on your die roll? I got a nine. All right. Uh with a nine, you that definitely hits. Uh, you give it a two point condition of uh, legend, we'll say, and something strange starts happening, Dahlia. Uh, Lenny, you're feeling it too, and Iris and Manny, you're feeling it as well. You are leaving the ground for the rest of the combat, you will all be flying as you are celestial because I feel celestial. Are we in control of it? Um, I will allow you to make a intelligence roll before your action to see if you do have control of it and then go nuts. All right. All right, Dahlia, you've given it a uh, pretty good condition. And as you do, suddenly, boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> okay, Greg. Greg, I was supposed to be home two hours ago. Okay, what? whatever. <clears throat> All right, from DJ Regula, salute to everyone that's a bit parched in tonight's episode. Obey your thirst and stay hydrated, friends. These kids not drinking water anymore? Is that a problem? Do we have kids not drinking water? I'm very concerned. And next up we have from R.I.P. Mika. Meh. School announcement in preparation of the upcoming Valentine's Day. We have a poem from a secret admirer for Spyro, Spiro, Spiro Agnew. I don't know. Roses are red, violets are blue, Hades is cute, and so are you. Huh. Wonder who sent that in. Huh. All right. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Uh, Lenny, you're up. Okay. Um, uh, Give me an intelligence roll to see if you are capable of uh, keeping what's about you while floating. Okay, yeah, let's let's try that out for size and see how good I am at this. A four. You, we were looking for a three, so yeah, no, this is shocking, and you're not sure why this is happening, but it okay. flashes. Lenny flashes back to uh, he's. He's never been skydiving, but anytime he, he he goes to one of those malls that has like the giant fan that you could pretend to go skydiving, he's all about it. Yeah, no, no, it's a lot like that. So you do have full control. What are you going to do? Um, I am. Lenny is going to. Um, now that he has full control, he's going to kind of like push himself back against the wall and then uses like basically use his feet to push him forward and then his feet obviously turn into jets of liquid to like like <laughs> propel him and accelerate him as he goes for another punch. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me strength and power. Strength and power. Power. He's just, he just leans against the wall and he's like, he's like, like beer punch! As I roll a uh, 13. 
That's going to hit. Go ahead and roll that damage. Okay. Boop. Which is your strength and power plus two, I believe. Yeah. Uh, not as good this time. It's only going to be a five for the hit. All right. He's, he's not as graceful as he thinks. You are not. Uh, it hits the shell and you just, you kind of tumble away in the air. Uh, I, next up, it's going to act. Um, Dahlia, you're the closest, so it's going to try to hit you. It has to roll 12 or better, and it gets a 12. Sorry. Whatever. Okay, and go ahead and roll defense. It rolled a 5, so give me a defense roll. Uh, what is defense? What do I roll? Uh, oh, wait. You <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. that called defense? You're rolling that one. I thought it was going to... Anyway, um, I got a 2. <laughs> You take three as it clubs you upside the head. Ouch. Iris, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll because you're floating for some reason. You're so lucky. Got it, mama. Nine. Okay, nine. Perfect. By the way, chat, we're only $10 away from our next unlock. So just saying. Um, Iris, you are in full control. Maybe it's the adrenaline, and maybe it's the fact that you put on your boss pants today. Like, you've taken care mm -hmm. of business. You scared a man. You helped a friend. Mm -hmm. You playfully joked around with someone, and it worked. Mm -hmm. Plus, <laughs> I've read about what to do if you're falling out of a plane. Oh, what is that? Uh, be like, uh, go flat like a squirrel. That's what she's read. I don't know if it's true. I don't know either, but it's working. <laughs> so you enter the boys' locker room. It is unsanitary. It smells like axe and feet. Uh, there's this strange toilet on the wall that you believe is called a urinal. Uh, this is a living nightmare, and there is a large scorpion creature. What are you going to do? <laughs> and it's it has just attacked Dahlia? Yes, it bonked Dahlia. Oh, no, I'm stronger than I've ever been. And I want to, um, uh, I'm going to summon, ask Kali to help me. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just want to create like a ball of, um, of a universe. Okay. And throw it. I'm going to try and aim for can I see its eye? Uh, it doesn't really seem to have eyes. Crows okay. are weird like that. Okay. Well, then I'll aim for... Um, I'll just aim for, like, its thorax area. All right. Uh, this sounds like a pretty basic uh, ranged magician attack, because that is what you are, correct? Yes, I'm a ranged magician. Okay. Yeah. So then I'll spend that AP. Intelligence plus range. You minus got two. it. Minus two. Okay. Oh. Oh. Five total. Enough. Would you like to use the reroll? Sure, I'll use a reroll. What the heck? Okay. Go for it. Okay. I'll just. Okay. Uh, 12, 10. Perfect. Okay, it hits. Go ahead and roll me intelligence plus range plus two. <laughs> uh, 19, 20, 21. Uh, 21. Oh, my God. This thing is, is not going to like this. Oh, wow. So you do, you make a hole in the side of this thing. If it had organs, if it wasn't made out of just bad juju, you could assume this thing would be super dead. By the way, Witch Slap, thank you very much for the tip. Uh, all right, it is barely standing. Aki, uh, give me a roll of intelligence for Manny. Okay. Do, do, a five. Perfect. Yeah, Manny, you... You're floaty every day. I am. I'm always flying. 
Yep. You got your heads in the clouds. Uh, all right. Sword. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead. This is a very basic guardian roll. So we're going to go ahead and make it your defense and strength. Plus two to hit. Let's go. Ooh, I'm going to re-roll. <laughs> okay. I believe that's our last re-roll. Oh, that's much better. That is a 13. Oh, that hits. That hits. Okay, roll that damage. Same roll, minus two. Oh, that is also a 13 minus two, so, <laughs> uh, so that's going to be an 11. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Sorry, that Manny, was a 12 minus two, so 10 points of damage. Manny, t uh, let me go ahead and roll. It probably won't matter. It does not matter. Um how do you kill this thing? Leave my friends and the school alone. Uh, and I think that as, uh, I mean, the truth is about to set this monster free. So <laughs> I just, I, 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 I whiz across the room uh, with my, my wing, my, my flying speed and lift the, the giant broadsword over my head and just slash down across this thing with like a ha, uh, and uh, it's it sort of dissipates, like you know, like just this explosion of glitter and, and stuff, basically fragments of. of you kill this dead. thing, Manny, and all of you come crashing down to the earth. Most of you on your feet. It's fine. Um, three point landing. Three point landing, and. It's dead. You won. Combat is over. You were out of initiative. Um, but you're no longer alone as you... suddenly the football team is coming back. Practice goes on for another two hours, but they're all coming back in wondering why the locker room is trashed. I'm going to hide in the locker super fast. Well, give me a dexterity roll. I got a seven. Okay, yeah, you just find one, slam. And Dolly is kind of tiny, so it's fine. It smells so bad in here. Oh, it is disgusting. Like, oh, uh, God. <laughs> um, Iris was trying to go for that locker. And so when Dolly goes in, she's like, oh, oh, oh. And then just like, um, uh, picks up, uh, like a t-shirt that's like on the ground is like uh -huh. and then she's like i'm close and then just puts it on herself and lays on on a bench <laughs> Brendan stands over at you looks down uh iris are you, are you okay shirt 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 i don't think okay yeah uh, what's up, Manny? Um, Hello. Sorry, we had yeah. to, we please just came in here to give Lennox a pep talk, and like there was some really weird stuff going on here that we had to take care of. Uh, so we did that, and now we're here to tell Lennox that he's got this. You're going to do a great job in the homecoming game, and we're all going to be cheering for you, me included. I'm I'm going to be I'm going to be an MC for homecoming this year. Oh yeah, there <laughs> might not be a homecoming. What? I slam yeah. the locker open. Wait, hold <laughs> on. <laughs> what do you mean there's why are, a Okay, why are you two here? Are you guys like trying to get some creep shots or something? Ugh. <laughs> Iris pulls the thing off. <gasps> no! <laughs> How dare you? Well, you're the one breathing in Marcus's like stinky shirt. I don't know what's up. Like, listen. You know that girl that won prom queen, Mandy something? Patinkin? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Lenny. <laughs> Mandy Patinkin. Yeah. Is Mandy no, Patinkin uh, to our school? I think, I think they're alumni, but no. no like, so listen, the prom queen's gone missing. What? <gasps> we already had a prom yeah. queen chosen? Homecoming and prom art. Do you mean homecoming queen? I'm coming, Queen. Sorry. 
Yeah, the homecoming queen's gone in my A. Uh oh. Mandy Patinkin's gone? Hmm? Mandy Patinkin is gone. Why isn't yes, this Mandy. bigger news? How, how's this the first time I'm hearing that, that we've lost Mandy Patinkin? How's this the first time I'm hearing that we had Mandy Patinkin and then we lost him? I'm confused. I think I need oh, a nap now. I mean, keep up. Yeah. Oh, boy. I, I'm so, going to take a nap now. <laughs> Don't so, do it in here. The homecoming queen is missing. Or prom queen? Did you say prom, prom queen? Homecoming. 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 homecoming, homecoming. homecoming. They're missing. And they're going to cancel homecoming. And yeah, there's a bug problem in the lockers. And it smells really there's bad. There's a bug problem? Don't worry. We took care of it. Mm -hmm. oh. Um, you guys, you guys know what's going on here. You have the same suspicions as I do, right? Wink, wonk. Oh, of course. But we should talk about that in our club room. Bye. <laughs> School safety squad is on the case. Thank you so much, Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you for con continuing to uh, keep the school safe from giant bugs. Yeah. I promise you, Brandon, I'm going to hold his hand. I will make sure homecoming is not canceled. I promise you. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. You okay? It's my duty. All right. Uh, could you guys get out of here now? I want to change. Oh, yeah. I need, I need fresh air. Yeah. Hey, Lennox. Huh? Sorry about earlier. Oh, yeah. No problem. Uh, Brendan goes to his locker as uh, Dolly and Iris, you make your escape from the horrible smells. And Manny, I assume you do as well. And as you do so, a young woman of about 18 sleeps in front of the doors of oblivion. Because someone is going to cancel homecoming, whether you like it or not. And that is where we are going to wrap the penultimate episode of the season. Uh, for Posh Panda, I am sorry. We will be including you next week uh, for the resub. Thank you so much for that. You will. Don't worry. I, everyone who subscribes is going to be included in the canon of New Pantheon Academia. I promise you that. Uh, so before we go, uh, oh, Lord, we have so many subscribers now. Thank you all so much. This is wonderful. And also, you guys managed to unlock the tarot assignments. Next session, we will start off with me assigning each of you a tarot card. And when that card is drawn, you will be able to GM for a scene. Not mechanically. You don't have to worry about the mechanics. But basically, you decide what happens. This is very dangerous, given that you've introduced Spyro in, and Lenny and Dahlia both have eyes on them. Feeling. Yeah, now that there's a paramour situation, I feel like <laughs> we're in we're in dangerous territory. Lenny's yeah, also got definitely. a crush, or like someone's crushing on Lenny, and this is this is turning into a real uh, love hexagon, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a love dodecahedron at this point. <laughs> I support so happiness. many. <laughs> I, oh, I, I am here to support happiness. Yes. Yeah, we all are. Um, and shipping and fan art of that shipping. Please. If you like do this? it, please share it. <laughs> like yes. yes. So. I like uh, the idea that Manny is like a secret mangaka or some ridiculousness like that. Oh my gosh. I, I love it. I love it for them. Have a deviant art. Oh, yeah. They for sure have a deviant art. Please. Um, so, special thanks to our sponsor this week, Noble Knight Games. Make sure you use uh, code SAVING10 for 10% off your order of $10 or more at Noble Knight Games. You get free shipping at the $150 level. They have all sorts of cool stuff on there. I get a lot of my role-playing game books there. I also get my dice there sometimes. Uh, so, check them out. Great company. Uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow for Dice X Machina. 
our Dungeons and Dragons Theros game, uh, ran by Riley Silverman, who is a queen and we must stand. I am going to say that until I'm blue in the face because she is amazing. She is so good at her job. So Kelly, where can they find you on the internet? Oh, I'm all over the place. You can find me on anything at Kelly Nugy, K-E-L-L-Y-N-U-G-E-E. -E. Um, that's on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, uh, Twitch. Oh, my God. Am I okay? No. Uh, where lately I've been doing a lot of real cursed dating sims, so swing on by. It's real fun. Uh, we're all worse for having played them. Um, check Can out Team Green Sim City Shipping. Cursed? Huh? What makes a dating sim cursed? Oh, I don't know. A lot of them, I always make a make the worst terrible decision, and I always end up dating the kidnapper. Or, uh, oh. here's another one. Uh, <laughs> my <laughs> my boyfriend got amnesia, and he forgot about me. So then I dated the doctor treating him. <laughs> I think that makes you a bad person. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, listen. It's bad. It's cursed. Oh, Check it uh, out. This sounds like a deeply cursed game. My God. No, they're it very cursed. It really does. It really yeah. does. Lady Bella Tricks GE, thank you very much for the bits. Uh, so, Eric, where can they find you? Uh, well, they can find me, mostly Eric, on most of the things all over the social media, like Twitter. Uh, also Twitch, where I stream during the week. Uh, playing video games uh and and also they can catch me uh on uh coming up on february 7th is our big saving throw marathon we are raising money for the trevor project uh this cast will be here uh plus we will be doing uh dissex machina and uh previewing uh the new salt bay court of thorns rpg salt that bay. we are yeah that we are doing with a bunch of special guests it's going to be great raising money for a great cause so please be there if you can going to be amazing. I cannot wait. Trevor Project is actually near and dear to my heart for obvious reasons. Big homo. Um, so I'm also, really Also, Critical Bard is going to be guesting with us on that episode. I know. I know. Critical Bard's going I to be there. I finally get to play with him. I haven't had the chance yet, and I'm really looking forward to this. I I'm played really once excited. my like first Call of Cthulhu game ever with them, and it was hilarious and great. We all died. <laughs> That, like a, that sounds like a, the correct, yeah, the correct yeah. game. <laughs> so, uh, Miko, where can they find you online? Hi, you can find me anywhere. Uh, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, all the sites at R.I.P. Mika. Um, such as in Rest is in Peace Mika, because I die in every game, but hopefully not this game, because I love Dahlia a little too much. Dahlia and so great. I, I, love, I love the dynamics we have and all of your characters so much. I was dying all episode. <laughs> um, and I don't have any regular things outside of this um, RPG. Everything else I'm on is on hiatus or on a break. So you can catch me here every Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah. And last but certainly not least, Aki, where can they find you? Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at MixGenie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. And, I mean, you can find me a lot of things. I'm kind of all over the place. I'm doing this one thing on Wednesday that's, like, I guess kind of cool. It's, like, the first episode. It's at 7 p.m. And it's maybe happening on this channel. And, like, it's me and, like, three of my friends playing games that don't require game masters. And it's got this kind of, like, neat name that I came up with called All Games No Masters. But, yes, please catch me here on Wednesday, this Wednesday, for the premiere of All Games No Masters at 7 p.m. I am very excited. We are starting with The Quiet Year, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, I have, you know, Chaos Machine, Max Isaacson, Amanda Powers, who's freaking rad. And then my uh, introducing somebody new to the community, a friend of mine uh, from way back, Randy Alvarenga. And I'm very excited. Uh, and then awesome. otherwise you can find the rest of my schedule over on my Twitch stream, which is S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I Shidari Aki. I love it. And I cannot wait for the show. It is going to be phenomenal. I'm so excited. 
And because I feel bad, we had uh, so many subscribers there towards the end that we just could not fit them in this episode. You will get your character inserted next episode. I promise you that. But I'm also going to give a special thanks to all of you, Captain Obvious, M. M. Jason O., Savage Punch, Nightshade88, Splubble, Kinfer, Lanhi, JREX0711, Explorer Rowan, Luop82517, Gen Galaxy, The Posh Panda, DJ Phoenix, IM0 Hawk, Ice Bunny 101, uh, Falochu NL, Choco Porter, uh, Guillemel Haro. I'm going to butcher all your names eventually. That, was, that wasn't enough subs. We didn't get enough subs this episode. Uh, no. I really didn't. Give them did and everybody. Mandy and Patea after. is our homecoming queen. We need like 60 subs just for that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, well, you guys did a great uh, job. Thank you. Thank you. And Critical <laughs> Bard. I wanted to thank you as well for subscribing. You will all be included as NPCs next session, our season finale, same bat time, same bat channel. Special thanks to Zomzook for running everything behind the scenes and making this all possible. Uh, I'm still on Twitter ban. I'll probably just make a new one at this point. I'm over it. But you can find me on TikTok at steampope101. I do lore videos about Vampire the Masquerade and other World of Darkness stuff. And I also shit post there because what else do you do in the time of quarantine? Anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in. And until next time, bye.